people when your life comes to a stop and you're on a Harley and you got a choice to make a left or a right make listen to your gut and make a good gut based choice your gut will always steer you right most of the time I'm thinking that's what works for me I just thought I'd share that with y'all all y'all if you think I'm wrong write it in the comments below I'd like to hear it it is so cool riding around in the boonies you get to see stuff like that out there seeing what's all around you it's like that little store right there who the heck would put a store out in the middle of nowhere very few houses but the stores like that have been around for years well, obviously somebody goes there to keep them in business how does that work I have no idea maybe people like me just happen to wander by and stop in and buy a candy bar I try I ride to can to Traverse City just to buy a candy bar just for something to do when you go on a ride but when you get a candy bar is always good all these roads you get on like this one they all go somewhere they all go somewhere new somewhere different you have a choice of which way to go left or right when the fork comes in the road you just choose one and run with it or throttle down whichever you want to call it see where you end up some of you all do that you take a fork in the road you have make bad choices you end up in the slammer <laughs> I've been pretty fortunate and I like to say I make educated guesses most of the time I don't know where the education part comes in because I never been accused of being real bright you just get a gut feeling you know what I mean that way down inside your gut feeling tells you to do something usually your gut down in there is pretty close to being what you should be doing it's pretty close to tell it's telling you to do the right thing even though sometimes we don't listen that's yeah I guess that's all the way we were all born that's how we were made as people it is your brain tells you to do one thing yeah that'd be fun but your gut's telling you no 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 that wouldn't be cool you're going to end up in the slammer or end up in some kind of big trouble or whatever but your brain tells you yeah do it man it'd be fun some of y'all think riding a motorcycle like this here is not a real good choice but we all have choices to make look at them farmer dudes got all their little tractors in a row isn't that nice I get behind the doggone manure spreaders on the way home from work every day I'm in a hurry want to get home get something to eat check on the family there's a cool little store right there you know what I think we're gonna go in there and get a pop this little store been here a hundred years too not many houses around let's go get a pop sound good sounds good you coming with me there's some fellow biker dudes they're doing the same thing we're doing right there riding around looking for trouble how cool is that yeah buddy let's go into the naughty pine store and see what's on sale oh yeah all kinds of stuff to choose from but we're a safe responsible rider we're going to get a safe responsible drink that's how I roll most of the time sometimes not so much 
I don't know if there's anybody working here. I can hear voices. But I don't see nobody. Hi. Hi. I was wondering if anybody was home yet, even. Is that all for you? Yes, ma'am, right here. Right, yeah. Yeah. Nice and cold. Yep. Ride a motorcycle makes you work up a sweat and you get oh, thirsty and stuff, you know? 209 out of 20. You know about that, right? Oh, I know all about it. I don't. My husband's a rider, but I'm not. Oh, you're not? I don't want no part of it. Nope. Oh, how come? Don't like it. Don't want it. You don't? You don't like swallowing bugs? Nope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bugs are good. Uh, GoPro kind of like type thing? Uh-huh. Yeah, right there. Oh, I can read it now. It is exactly what I said. Yeah. I just go ride, ride around. Your, I don't know if that's your mom or your sister. Nope. Not related. She don't like motorcycles. 17, 10, 15, 16, 17. Oh, I gotta open these. Nope, oh. not a motorcycle girl. <laughs> you go for a ride with me, I'd change your mind. Uh -oh, no thanks. 75, no. 85, 90. Boy, just like that, huh? 85, 85, 90 and a penny. So there's 91 for you. Cool. 10, 15, 16, and 17. All right. Thank you, ma'am. You're so welcome. Thank you. You Enjoy too. Enjoy your bike ride. Oh, yes. Definitely. Checking out the colors and stuff. Yeah. Starting to start to turn, aren't they? Yes, they are. Have a good day. Thanks. You too. Hello. Bye. Not everybody likes motorcycles like I do, but hey, she has a job. She, can, she can't take time off to ride, can she? That's okay. It's all good. That is pretty. I don't care what she says. That is pretty and it's pretty fun too. All roads lead to somewhere. Hopefully they don't turn into dirt. They turn into dirt. We had to turn around. There's another brother out finding his peace of mind just like me. Must be a popular road. We always end up somewhere. Hopefully We'll get back home before it gets too cold or too dark. Sometimes the dark isn't good. It's harder to see the fork in the road when you travel at night, isn't it? Look at the pretty trees, all red. Another week, the colors are gonna be out. It'll be awesome. Well, what do you know? My gut was right. You take a fork in the road and you follow your gut, you'll come out to somewhere you know. This little town here is called Walkerville. Fellow bikers at the store. Right there, that is the Walkerville Mall. We're going to go downtown Walkerville. I bet most of you haven't seen this here before. Walkerville is very, it's more like a village. It's, I don't even think it's a village. There's the high school. Their basketball court is outside. Yep. Just a small, small little, there's small little towns like this all over the U.S. of A. I think it's small towns like this that make America great. Except for maybe that right there that had a problem. That one fell in. That one definitely fell in. And there you have it. Walkerville, Michigan. Doesn't it make you wonder what the folks do here for fun? What do the kids do? Where do they go? I have a pretty good idea, but I was wondering if you guys were growing up in a small town or lived in a small town like this, what would you do for fun? See all the dirt? We'd be out there eating the dirt, playing in the dirt. <clears throat> or I would. I'm going to speak for myself, not you guys. But I'd be out in that swamp over there looking for deer tracks. Oh, look, there's a Bigfoot down there. See him? Right there. We'd be out finding Bigfoot. That's what they do in Walkerville, Michigan for fun. Appreciate y'all coming with me today. I hope you enjoy 
my little videos, my little rides around the block. I do ride around the block when it's nice out, just about on a daily basis, so I can. I like to ride. I like to bring you guys with me. You're my friends in the little black box right there. I appreciate you watching. For all of you that have subscribed, you're awesome. You're family. You are my family. If you're new and you're just this is your first time watching, I'm still new at this and learning how to do it. But I appreciate you checking me out. And if you hit the subscribe button, my videos will just come to you. You'll be notified by YouTube. Every time I post a new video, you won't have to search for it. At the end of this video, there's a little circle with a picture of me sitting on a motorcycle. Push on that booger and you'll be subscribed. And then you'll know next time I show up. That would be cool. I'd like to have you come right along with me. So until the next video, put the hammer down as I like to say, keep it greasy, and we will see you next time. There's some colors. Looky there, looky there. Awesome. Ooh, there's pretty colors out there. Getting there. We are getting there. <laughs>